Hey there beautiful people, it is Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. Yes, I'm wearing no top today because it's really hot indoors, I've got all the windows closed, it's in the middle of the day in Thailand, so sorry if you don't like it, but I feel it's necessary for me to do so, so I don't create a sauna in this room and sweat my mmm off. <laughs> and yeah, the reason why I am making this video today, which is talking about the benefits that I got from the carnivore diet that I did for 30 days, is because a viewer of mine on this YouTube channel requested it. And this is the person that requested it. If you have any video requests for me, leave them down below and maybe I'll make the request for the type of video you want me to make as well. So, there is a whole list of things here. Sorry if it's blurry, I want to focus on me, so that's why it's a little bit blurry on here. So, first off, I was on a vegan diet for around six years. I quit it after three months. If you wanna know all the ins and outs about that, I'll put a link for a video where I talk about that in more detail. But yeah, one of the main things that was a serious issue for me on a vegan diet was bad digestion was completely eliminated and all of my elimination issues had completely been eliminated. So what I mean by that is, on a vegan diet, I just kept getting so much gas and bloating. Every time I would eat any food, as soon as it would go down my esophagus and in my stomach, it would just start creating all of this gas because the food was just fermenting in my stomach. And then it would be released into my digestive tract, which would then make me have stinky farts all throughout the day, all throughout the night when I was sleeping as well. And I just kept burping so much. And when I go to the toilet, my bowel movements smelt like death. And because my bowel movements were all over the show, where I was going from constipation to diarrhea back and forth, never having consistent bowel movements that were fully formed, it was just making the toilet really dirty. And I remember when my girlfriend went to clean the toilet after not cleaning it for weeks once I switched onto a carnival diet, I think she hadn't cleaned it for like three weeks. And she said, wow, the toilet's not dirty anymore. Because guess what? On the carnival diet, my elimination and digestion was absolutely optimal. So I wasn't having this explosiveness in the toilet that was absolutely smelling everywhere. So she was really happy about that because before she was saying she used to have to clean the toilet about two to three times a week, which is absolutely crazy. And second one was my itchy eyes completely vanished. So the majority of the time when I would wake up, I'd have a really itchy eyes. It felt like I was having an allergic reaction to something. And once I switched to the carnivore diet, it got completely eliminated. It could have been the histamines in the certain plant foods I was eating or salicylates of, or other plant toxins which were irritating me, which was really good because there were so many times I tried to resolve it, many different things that didn't work, but the carnivore diet did. And this was absolutely amazing. I had bumpy skin all over my shoulders and on my arm and my back and my shoulder blades and my shoulders. And within a short period of time, all of that bumpiness went, which is so, so good. And my skin just started to become the softest, most smoothest skin that I'd ever experienced in my life. The only thing that I could compare how my skin was when I made this switch was like a newborn baby skin that's just like, wow, just the best feeling skin ever. So yeah, brilliant. And then my energy levels on a vegan diet got destroyed. Like for three months before I quit, well, the last three months of the vegan diet, my energy levels were just completely rock bottom. I couldn't participate in life or do anything. But then once I switched to the carnivore diet, I found that my energy levels were consistent because even when I was on a vegan diet before it went really downhill, it could be up and down because the blood sugar levels with the high carb diet was making it go up and down. But guess what? On the carnivore diet, I wasn't having these ups and downs with my blood sugar levels. So then I could have stable energy levels. But yeah, I did talk about long term why I quit the carnivore diet after 30 days. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it now, but I talk about that later in the journey, my energy levels started to not be as optimal and I needed some carb sources to resolve that. But yeah, one thing I wanna mention is if I ate eggs or pork, that would induce fatigue within me. But if I was sticking to ruminant meat such as beef, which that is predominantly the meat that I ate on my 30 day carnivore, 
diet journey, then my energy levels were absolutely fine. I was no longer emotionally unstable because before I found that one minute I'd be angry, then I'd be sad and I just keep like not being consistent with my emotions. I was just like all over the show. I was like a chaotic mess, especially in the last three months of my vegan diet. And I just felt that I needed to just keep doing inner work and I thought it was just things that I needed to resolve within me, unresolved emotions, unresolved traumas and I paid thousands of dollars over many years to get help from specific coaches. But guess what? I haven't needed that ever since I started eating animal foods and when I switched to this carnivore based diet. So no need for that inner work in any way, shape or form and not finding it hard to stay emotionally balanced. It was just happening naturally without me trying to force it whatsoever. Also on the vegan diet, I ended up having an obsession with detoxification because I thought you just need to keep detoxing this symptom away and this and that and that and like so many issues that were going on for me were just due to toxicity. So I do candida cleanses, parasite cleanses, loads of fasting and this and that and that and that and that, which I'm not gonna say that I'm against those things now with where I'm at at all. They have a time and a place. But it was not addressing the root cause of the issue. The root cause of the issue was I was eating a vegan diet that was very malnourishing, not meeting all of my nutrition needs, feeding me loads of plant toxins and not giving me all the essential fatty acids and cholesterol and other certain nutrients that are pretty much non-existent on a vegan diet or yeah, you can't really get them in adequate amounts without eating animal foods. And that ended up saving me a lot of money because buying all these different detoxification things can add up to quite a bit of money. This was really great. I didn't know this was gonna happen. I went from needing 10 hours of sleep to only seven hours of sleep. And I found that if I slept less, I would still have loads of energy the next day. I'd still be really positive in mind, very emotionally balanced and not unstable at all. But I found on a vegan diet, a lot of the time, even if I got 10 hours, I'd feel tired in the morning. And if I didn't get anywhere near that, if I got like an hour less or eight hours of sleep in total, eight or nine, then I would just be all over the place. I couldn't function for the next couple of days and it was just so hard to just regain energy within my body. And it was just, yeah, not very good. And I thought that was just normal, <laughs> but apparently it wasn't. And this one is so good. I went into a state, as soon as I started eating the carnival diet, a deep sense of inner peace and calmness and feeling at one with myself and the universe, which some people may call God and I felt closer to God. And this is just so good, because before this happened, I did not feel this at all. I was just scattered and all over the show, and there was just a lot of inner turmoil within my body and within my mind, and it just wasn't very balanced at all. So I was definitely not experiencing that type of thing on a vegan diet at all. So this was another great benefit. And yeah, being able to stay positive without having to try to. I found on a vegan diet, that I'd always have to try and force my mind to be positive the majority of the time to actually stay positive. But there's only so much you can do that and a lot of time it wouldn't work. There's a lot of motivation or inspiration or self-development teachers out there to teach you how to train your mind and whatnot. But I found with the carnival diet, I didn't have to try whatsoever to be positive. I was just automatically very, very positive without trying, very, very optimistic without having to try which is win-win. Oh, and this is one I definitely didn't experience on the vegan diet, which was anytime I'd eat a carnival meal, I'd feel satiated easily without having to stuff myself. Because on a vegan diet, I would just have to pretty much go on food binges and just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and just go absolute crazy of food, which a lot of the people, such as Freely and Durian Ride, I'm sure you know they are, they just say, if you've got issues, you're not eating enough. If you're hungry, just eat more. But guess what? It wasn't giving me all of the nutrition I needed, so then I just kept being very unsatisfied with the food I was eating. I wasn't really enjoying it and I was just stuffing myself up to my neck. But I didn't need to do that with the carnival diet whatsoever. I would eat the food, wouldn't have to eat that much and stay satiated for hours and hours and hours and I would enjoy the food so much when eating it and it would make me feel so amazing because on a vegan diet, no matter what I ate, I always felt that I was getting no improvements in the way that I was feeling, so no benefits. But once I switched to carnival meals, it felt that I was just getting pure benefits and no negative effects whatsoever. So yeah, that's really good. And, and well, what it ended up adding on to that as well, which I need to mention, is it ended up 
saving me a lot of money because guess what? I wasn't having to buy so much food and eat such large quantities of food. So yeah, saving money was a benefit I didn't know I was gonna get, but obviously a really, really good one. And then it started to give me a sense of feeling safe and secure within myself and in this human world. And just my outside perspective was just like, the world is more of a safer place to be and more secure for me. Because prior to that, I just always used to feel very unsafe the majority of the time and not very secure within myself. And I have to do a lot of things to try and override that, but a lot of time it wouldn't work. And I found that it just really grounded me. And if you're a spiritual person, you understand this, but I started to feel fully rooted and grounded within my root chakra. If you don't know about this, do some research into it. But before the carnival switch, I felt I was just very up in the air, very airy fairy, very spiritual, very sensitive. But it was just like so unbalanced and so ungrounded. But meat, from what I am aware of and what I've experienced, is one of the most grounding foods that you could possibly eat. And to go alongside this, it eliminated certain fears, such as a lot of time I'd have a fear of running out of money, not having enough money that come from my parents that programmed that within me from a young age. I've done a lot of inner work on it, never overcome it. But guess what? I didn't have to do any inner work anymore once I switched on the carnival diet because those fears just completely vanished. And now even with me on a non-carnival diet, but it's still a heavily like meat-based diet, it still hasn't come back. And that's been gone for like, what? Is it around four or five months now? So that's really good because it would make me feel so unsafe, so insecure. It would really scare me and it was just really not nice to experience that in any way, shape or form. And it just didn't seem to work. Anything that I was trying to do to overcome it, it would go for a period of time and then come back again and again and again and again and again. And this definitely goes alongside it. It sent me into my parasympathetic nervous system. So it was calming my nervous system because previously on a vegan diet, I found that I was always in survival mode. And when I'm in survival mode, it always felt that my nervous system was always very uncalm and things could unsettle it very, very easily. So my adrenals would fire up at many different things and cortisol would go through the roof, adrenaline would go through the roof and I feel very wired and it was just like burning out my nervous system and my adrenals and it wasn't good for me whatsoever. Stress in certain amounts is good but when you have it going on so much it's not good whatsoever. And something I noticed with this was absolutely amazing. So sometimes someone might jump out at us and like scare us as a prank or do something else and I found any time that type of thing would happen where something would scare me, I would just get in a stuck in a stress response for hours and hours and hours, unless I did the Wim Hof breathing method or did some relaxation technique, which they wouldn't always work. But guess what? Being on the carnival diet, I didn't have to do that because as soon as I would get scared, my adrenaline cortisol would go up a little bit and within seconds, I would get out of the stress response and go back into the parasympathetic nervous system. <laughs> which I think that's how we all should more so normally be and function. Ah, and my gums. On a vegan diet, every time after I would eat, I would get throbbing gums. The only way I could eliminate it and it wouldn't always work was doing salt, water, mouth rinses, sometimes with iodine or iodine on its own and it would get rid of it. I think this might be in some sort of inflammation or reaction to plant toxins. But as soon as I switched on the carnivore diet, voila, gone and never seen that one again. And with all this going on, it just allowed me to form a healthier relationship with food because I wasn't going on binge eating sessions where I would just eat so much food and stuff myself up to my neck, which wouldn't make me feel that good afterwards. It would make me feel heavy. And it wasn't just a very self-loving practice that and relationship, should I even say, with food. So this is really, really good because at the same time, what it was doing was allowing me to be more controlled around my food without having to control it. Because I was being so satiated and satisfied for the food, I didn't feel that I needed to do certain things to stop myself from just eating insane amounts of food or stop myself from binge eating and so on. Some other like mental benefits and emotional benefits, I went into a state of being insanely happy within myself. Like an excited child, it just reinfused life back within me. It's just like I had this newfound zest for life. 
And I've seen this with so many other people that have switched from a vegan diet to a carnivore diet as well. It's just absolutely wow. And we all deserve to feel this way. But on a vegan diet, it just wasn't happening or whatsoever. And this is again, a natural state that we all deserve to have. And I was just feeling so grateful to be alive and being more grateful for the simple things in life and way more appreciative without having to try and just feeling way more connected to my positive emotions and being able to embody them way more. And alongside that, I got a newfound sense of enthusiasm for life because it made my energy levels come back. I was reinvigorated, had this zest for life come back, got this excitement and just feeling really amazing. That it just made me want to do so many things in my life. So I started to live my life in a way that was more of a fuller life and more richer than life. And I was able to do way more than I'd had to, well, that I'd able to be doing on a vegan diet. So there's so many benefits. Sorry the video is long, but there was just so many benefits. It's just like, it, it's absolutely necessary for me to do this. Feeling way more motivated in life. Just feeling like, oh, I just want to do that thing and that thing and that thing and that thing. And I don't have to push myself to be motivated whatsoever, which I learned from motivational teachers like Eric Thomas. You just do what you don't want to do. And I just found that I kept having to push myself and push, 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 push. But I never really had the energy there to just be naturally self-motivated. So then when I was pushing myself, because my nervous system was all over the show and my body was all over the show, it would just end up depleting me and having such a negative effect on me and I wouldn't be able to sustain the things that I was motivated to do. So it just helped me improve my whole life and my whole human experience. My stomach, which I didn't have a massive issue with this, well, I didn't really at all, my stomach became way more flatter, way less water retention. I found that I had more definition with my abs and other muscles on my whole body as well because I lost water retention across my whole body. Teeth ended up becoming way easier to clean. This was an issue that I had on a vegan diet. When I cleaned my teeth, even after I bought a toothbrush that cost me around $150 and buying all these natural toothpaste and buying all these other things for dental hygiene, every time I cleaned my teeth, I just couldn't get all the residue off. All this plant residue just gets stuck. It was pretty much impossible to get off. So my teeth were never fully clean. And when your teeth are not fully clean, guess what? It starts to break your enamel down. And then it starts to cause so many teeth issues. And I ended up with the most dental issues that I ever had in my life on that vegan diet. If you want to hear me talk about that more in a video, I made a video talking about that in more detail that I'll link up above now. But yeah, with the carnival diet, it's just like I'd have to hardly brush my teeth at all. And then it'd be super, super clean. And it wasn't hard to get off in any way, shape or form. And this one, was really affecting my life in a negative way. Some of you are gonna be aware of this or not. I had a massive EMF sensitivity, which is known as an electromagnetic frequency sensitivity, which all electronical devices admit this. I work online as a YouTuber, I run other businesses. So I'd spend a lot of time and still do now on computers and my phone and other electronical devices, such as having a camera in front of me and lights around me and a microphone and so on. And I find after a short while of using electronic devices, it would just radiate all this like inflammation and pain and like heat throughout my whole body. And the longer I would use it, the worse it would become. And then that would become stuck in my body even hours after getting off the electronic devices. And then it would start to affect my energy levels in a negative way, my mental health, just my whole thought processes and just how I was feeling. But yeah, the carnival diet completely eliminated that 100%. And this is not necessarily the thing I had an issue with, but I found on a vegan diet, my body temperature was always pretty damn high. It wasn't affecting me in a negative way, at least from what I noticed, but once I switched to a carnivore diet, my body temperature lowered. I'm not sure by how much, but the reason why I know is because I always used to be so much hotter than my girlfriend. And then once I switched to the carnival diet, my body temperature was way lower than hers and she would get way hotter than me. And even when we go to the beach and it'd be quite hot, if there was a wind come along, I'd feel a bit of coldness within my body. This wasn't an issue for me whatsoever. I just felt that my body temperature went down to a temperature that was more of a more optimal body temperature for me to have. And it made it easier for me to sustain sitting in saunas for longer without getting really, really overwhelmed and having to push myself to actually 
be able to do longer stretches of saunas so I could get more of a boost in human growth hormone, which is proven through scientific research if you do it correctly with the right temperature. And yeah, I've already talked about the seconds last one, spending less money on food. And my hair all of a sudden became like the most softest, silky hair that I have ever felt and experienced on my head in my lifetime. And it just made the overall quality of it become better. And it just ended up making it way thicker. So I did my best to try and list off everything. I wrote down notes months ago when I did this for 30 days. I'm sure there's some other benefits they got, but those are the main ones. So if you're someone that has not tried out the carnivore diet, I recommend you give it a good run for your money for at least 30 days or longer because it helped me so much in so many ways, more than I could ever imagine. I knew that I could get some of these benefits, but what I found is that I got a lot of improvements and benefits that I never even knew was even a benefit that I could get. And certain things I didn't even know that was going on for me on a vegan diet was an issue for me in any way, shape or form. But once some of these got eliminated, I was like, wow, that thing was an issue and that and that and that. And I didn't even realize that. I thought that was just normal. I thought that's what every human being is like. So yeah, doing the carnivore diet just made me start to learn that meat is actually very good for you. At least when it comes from pasture raised sources. And as you all know, I never eat factory farm meat whatsoever. When I was eating this carnivore diet, I was pretty much eating pasture raised beef antibiotic free, hormone free, they get to live outside, they get given the best life possible, they can go inside when they want, and just buying the highest quality animal foods that I could possibly get. So I was just getting the most nutrient dense, cleanest meat that I could get so I could feel my best. So if you have any questions on anything I've talked about in this video, let me know down below. In the comment section, got any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.